Looking for a particular item? Huh? Outland Malls is the perfect website for exactly that. What is it you might be asking? It's a website that was created by Sandro and Gangstar. What you can do with it is actually search the name of whatever item it is that you're looking for. And if it's in that known database of vendors, it will actually find that for you, give you the location, how much it costs, and the exact name of the vendor, and in most cases, the actual vendor mall. Nice. So with that, guys, sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's talk about it. As I sit here before you today, there are 2,628 vendors as well as 63,583 items listed. You might be asking how they all got there. Well, to be honest, the community put them there. Outland Malls has different methods that vendors get put on there. The first one is a simple script you can copy paste and then use. Once it's done, then log off and apply it to their site via your journal files. Then boom. Every vendor in the area is now on the website. There's also another option for people that run vendor malls where there is an application that logs you in, starts scanning, logs out, sends the files to the website, waits for a specified amount of time, and then repeats the entire process for as long as you'd like. If you have a vendor mall yourself, it's said that this actually generates traffic better than even having a character logged in gating 24 seven. Also note that Outland Malls has its own bots that recall around scanning periodically as well, so your vendor could be on there already. Searching for an item is actually really simple. Under the home tab, just type in the item name. There's also a subcategory option you can use as well. For instance, if maybe you're looking for armor but not sure exactly what, or you just wanna see what's out there. Something I personally found that was pretty useful was the buy script. By clicking this icon here, it actually copies a Razor script to your clipboard. Then all you would do is just paste it into Razor and then hit play once you're at the vendor. It'll find the vendor for you as well as the item in the bag and purchase it. It also double checks to ensure that the price is the same as what was listed on the website. If the price doesn't match, it'll actually alert you. That entire feature actually comes as a premium feature, which we're gonna get into here shortly as well. Something to keep in mind, if you find an item on the website and you go to said vendor and it's gone, that means it was purchased after their most recent upload. When that vendor is scanned again, the item will no longer show. Once again, showing it's good practice to scan as often as possible. The next tab is spots. Here, you can see a list of vendor spots sorted by recently uploaded. By clicking the number under vendors, you can see then a list of all the vendors as well as the amount of items and value. Scroll down further and it'll have a timeline of sales value in a certain amount of time. Something I wanted to touch on here is personally, as a vendor mall owner, phone holla, it's, this one's actually one of my favorites because it actually shows me the amount of, you know, how much each vendor in my vendor mall has, uh, the number of items, the value that it's all priced for, you know, something that we really pride ourselves at Bone Hall is that our vendors are stocked. So I can kind of keep tabs on who's actually keeping their vendors stocked at a bird's eye view. Really helpful for sure. Moving on to the vendor tab, this shows all vendors on the website. Once again, sorted by most recently updated. If you find your vendor on the list, you will notice items listed as well as price. Below that are charts, one being sales over time and the other being inventory value over time. Here's something extremely helpful. You will notice this tab here that shows wanting to sell message. By clicking this, it will display a wanting to sell message that you can actually copy paste in various discords by slash sell channel. This saves you so much time when you're posting in discord. All right, now let's get into some of the data over on charts. Here we can find various prices of items and their value of what's posted over time. For fun, let's take a look at Command Core since we all know those blew up recently. Simply change the core prices over time from Air Core to Command Core and voila. Now we can see the price increase. This data is gathered by items sold so that items that are listed extremely high and never sell do not actually skew the chart. And how about ye pirates and your precious crew, eh? Crew Bazaar is a great spot you can see a list of crew as well as what attributes they have. This allows everyone to quickly find a matching crew for their boat and allows boaters to put cheaper crew up for sale without having to spam countless pictures of crew in Discord. 
There's a little more legwork here though, as you will have to use the appropriate tags, which are listed here, or for easier access in the Outland Malls Discord, which I will put in the description of this video, as well as the pinned comment. There's also a similar approach for full sets of armor with the use of tags. Now, do you remember earlier I mentioned something about premium memberships? This includes the buy script mentioned earlier that also performs the price check. There's also an item tracker that you can set a notification to DM you on Discord if it's listed under a particular price, which I have recently found extremely helpful with Holy Cores blowing up in price. I also was able to score a Mausoleum Hip Lantern for 2 million gold that was put on a vendor just a few minutes after it was posted. Super, super helpful. Lastly, a very short list of 30 items that are strongly discounted from their average price with a six hour head start before they go to the main list. So how do you get these premium memberships? Well, first of all, they aren't actually for sale, meaning you can't buy them with real money and you can't buy them with gold either. Currently, they are handed out by myself, Pwnstar, during Whiskey Saturday streams via a giveaway at some point throughout the night. I'll give you a code and then you actually just input this into the member area. This will unlock the features and display how long it's valid for. Now, I will say in the very near future, you'll be able to unlock these features by contributing data to the platform. This will be part of their incentive system to encourage folks to scan more than just their own vendor or mall. Something asked about frequently is the attachment of Discord to their platform. So I'm just gonna read verbatim what was said by Gangstar. We are not happy about the enforced login either, but unfortunately our site has been crawled excessively over the last weeks. It led to the server running almost at max load most of the time and us having to pay extra fees for the used up bandwidth. IP-based filtering and banning can't fix this alone. By having users sign in, we can match their requests against a set of patterns that crawlers would normally have and ban them automatically. This lowered the load on our server drastically and made our job to ensure that the platform is up and very responsive much easier. It's an unpopular thing, but necessary, as otherwise the platform would be very slow at processing uploads and providing search results. You can thank the crawlers who scraped our data 24 seven with a large amount of requests per second for this. In the following chart, you can actually see the big difference in bandwidth use after we enforced logins. And there you guys have it, outlandmalls.com. Such a wonderful website. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and you kind of gained a little bit of education when it comes to Outland Malls, what the pro, what the website is and uh, you know some of the other cool things behind it as well. Shout out to Gangstar and Sandro. I personally have really enjoyed having this website uh, to help me navigate to find whatever item it is that I'm looking for rather than just scavenging through millions and millions of vendors all throughout the large, large world of Abaddon. Also, one more shout out to Gangstar for being the guest on the Pwncast. Make sure you guys check out that episode if you haven't. Shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and the subscribers, as well as you guys for liking this video as it helps for discoverability for myself and more importantly, UO Outlands and my fellow streamers. Make sure you come by the live streams most evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on Twitch, YouTube, Kick, Twitter, and Facebook. Other than that, guys, do me a favor, comment below a video suggestion that you'd have as I like doing videos based off of what you guys, the community, say. And one last thing, comment high and tight is my hero for a chance at 25K on the next Whiskey Saturday. Guys, have a great night. Pwn Star Gaming out.